Hello, this is Buzz. We're going to use Excel 2007 for uh, taking integrated rate law to determine the order of a reaction. So I'm going to be doing problem number 35 in chapter 12 of the Zoomdahl 8th edition. So um, that's on page 582. So um, in order to determine the rate law, we simply plot the time versus concentration, then time versus natural log concentration, and finally time versus reciprocal of concentration. So the data we usually get is time versus concentration. So um, the reaction is provided in number 35. NO2 plus CO gives NO plus CO2. And um, I'm just going to create a table here for the data and enter what is provided. So the initial time is 0. I'm just going to do the time first. And then we have times in scientific notation 1.20 times 10 to the 3. So the way we do that in Excel is we type 1.2 and then E3. And then we have 3 times 10 to the 3, so that would be 3E3. And then 4.5E3, 9E3, and finally 1.8E4. So those are our times. Now I'm going to go create a new column. This column will be the concentration, which is the other data given, along with time. So in moles per liter, 0 0.500, 0 0.444, 0 0.381, 0 0.340, 0 0.250, and 0 0.174. Now, um, at this point, we could plot um, a graph with concentration versus time. So that would mean concentration on the vertical axis just to see how it looks, and if it's a straight line, we know it, it would be zero order. So I'm going to the Insert tab, then Scatter, and I'm just going to look at the points. For now, I'm not going to add anything else, and let's see how that looks. Looks like, doesn't look like a straight line to me. So that is concentration versus time. So I'm going to just create a title there. Now, we'll put that aside for now and um, see how uh, concentration versus natural log, excuse me, natural log of concentration versus time looks. So I'm going to create a new header, natural log of NO2 concentration. So this is pretty easy to do with Excel. Here's how we do it. We type a formula equals LN is natural log and then parenthesis opens that function and then I'm going to click on B2 and then I'm going to close parentheses and hit enter. So there's the natural log of 0.5, negative 0.693. Now this is what's great about Excel. I can take this cell and drag it with this little dot right here or alternatively copy and paste but easier is just taking this little dot right there and dragging it all the way down to the bottom data cell we want and releasing and it automatically knows to, co to apply the same formula across. So for example if I click on this square here and I click on the formula we're going to see it refers to this cell right here. So that's what we want. So now we have time and uh, natural log of concentration. So now I'm going to select um, the time column and then I'm going to press control, hold that down, and select the natural log of concentration. So only these two columns are selected. Now you could put all these graphs on one page, but I'm just going to do them separately by selecting using the control key. So I'm going to go back to insert, scatter plot, Again, I'm going to just select points and then see what this looks like. To me, this 
still looks like a curve, which would mean that this is not a first order reaction. If it was, if the points were falling in a straight line, it would be a uh, first order reaction when I take natural log versus time. Again, notice that on the vertical axis, I have my natural log data. And then on the horizontal, this is the times over here. So that's what we want. We want on the vertical, natural, uh, excuse me, on the vertical, we want time. And then on the horizontal, we want the natural log of concentration. So let's move this out of the way. And finally, I'm going to take 1 divided by concentration of NO2. And so um, if this didn't turn out to be a line, then um, there's probably something wrong with the problem, or maybe we made a mistake because it's got to be one of these three has to be a line. So again, I can use a formula. I'm going to type equals, and then the reciprocal would just be 1 divided by, and again, I'm going back to the concentration column, 0.5. And not surprisingly, that is 2. And again, I'm going to just drag this down and get my the rest of those filled up uh, for 1 over concentration. Now I'm going to select the time, and now I'm going to press Control, hold down Control, and select column D. We're going to go back to Insert, Scatter, adjust the points. See how that looks? That looks like a line. Notice it's going up, which is normal because when we take 1 over concentration, see concentration is going to decrease with time, the concentration of the reactant. So 1 over concentration will increase with time. And it increases in a um, linear way, which tells us that this is a second order reaction. We can add one other thing here. I'm going to right click on the points and select Add Trend Line. And we uh, know this is a linear, so I'm going to keep that selected. and. Um, Click Close, and we see we've got the line there. Now that's just polishing it up. Basically, the information we got out of this is that a plot of time versus one over con excuse me one over concentration versus time has plotted a line. Therefore, this is a second order reaction. Goodbye.